President Obama announced this morning his nominee to replace Attorney General Eric Holder when he steps down at the end of this year. She is Loretta Lynch, the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District out of New York. If confirmed by Congress, her appointment could be a, a history-making one. Richard Reeb joining us now from the newsroom with more on that. Rich. Yeah, Kenneth, that's right. If Lynch is confirmed, she'll be the first African-American woman to hold the attorney general's post. Now, published reports say she was the least controversial final choice by the president. But Lynch could face a tough confirmation battle on Capitol Hill as Republicans prepare to take over the Senate. Led by outgoing Attorney General Eric Holder, the president introduced Loretta Lynch. In a country that is built on the rule of law, there are a few offices more important than that of Attorney General. As his nominee to become the nation's next chief law enforcement officer. Loretta might be the only lawyer in America who battles mobsters and drug lords and terrorists and still has the reputation for being a charming people person. <laughs> Good morning, all. Lynch is a popular prosecutor, now serving her second stint as a U.S. attorney in New York. Today's $7 billion settlement is the culmination of a two-year investigation. At 55, a Harvard grad, she's prosecuted public corruption, terrorism, and organized crime. She's helped secure billions in settlements from some of the world's biggest banks accused of fraud and jailed some of New York's most violent and notorious mobsters and gang members. The Department of Justice is the only cabinet department named for an ideal. But to get the new job, Lynch must be confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Mitch McConnell, the presumptive next Senate leader, says she'll receive fair consideration. But after meeting with Mr. Obama this week, House Republicans signaled their unhappiness with the president's plan for an executive action on immigration reform. If more executive actions are taken, that would make it difficult um, for us to always work together. The political bickering could mean confirmation hearings would have to wait until January when the new majority takes over. Lynch says she's ready for the job. I will work every day to safeguard our citizens, our liberties, our rights, and this great nation, which has given so much to me and my family. Now, the Washington Post says Lynch is respected for conducting high-profile cases without seeking publicity. The president is calling for a swift confirmation. Senate Republicans say Lynch will get a thorough and fair vetting, but again, it's unlikely confirmation hearings will begin until January. In the newsroom, Richard Reeve, News Channel 8.